Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you're happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the 12 superfoods that you shouldn't overeat. This video is for educational purposes only, and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Healthy eating and having a balanced diet can guarantee the body's health. Some people think that consuming too much of a useful nutrient will further ensure their health. Still, it should not be forgotten that excessive consumption is not recommended. In some cases, excessive consumption of useful foods may be detrimental to your health and cause damage to internal organs. In this video, we are going to be sharing with you 12 super healthy foods that you shouldn't overeat. Stay tuned with us. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Number 12. Broccoli. If you have thyroid problems, do not overeat broccoli. Be careful not to overuse this substance, and be sure to use a variety of vegetables in your daily diet. Broccoli is rich in powerful antioxidants and is very effective in preventing cancer and reducing heart disease, but if you consume too much of it, you may develop hypothyroidism. In fact, broccoli contains thiocyanates, which interfere with iodine absorption. Even if you had thyroid disease in the past, it is best not to overeat broccoli. Number 11. Tuna. By consuming tuna, a large amount of mercury may enter your body. Tuna is rich in protein, magnesium, zinc, iron, and omega-3 fatty acids. Nutritionists believe that eating tuna several times a week may increase the amount of mercury in your body. Mercury food poisoning can weaken muscles and reduce vision. Pregnant women and children should also reduce their tuna consumption to less than twice a week or use a type of tuna that has a lower risk of mercury poisoning. Number 10. Green tea. If you are iron deficient, it is best to avoid green tea with food. Nutritionists believe that most people drink green tea without worry. Green tea contains catechins and powerful antioxidants that reduce the risk of cancer, inflammation, and heart disease. The toxin in green tea may interfere with the body's ability to absorb iron, absorption of iron from plant sources. If you have low iron levels in your blood, green tea may cause problems for you and your health. It is better not to drink green tea with food or immediately after it. Number 9. Grapefruit. Some citrus fruits should not be taken with antihistamines. Citrus fruits such as grapefruit interact with many drugs such as statins, a group of cholesterol-lowering drugs, and antihistamines. Certain medications may cause a decreased drug absorption, even up to 72 hours after eating certain citrus fruits. Therefore, if you are taking certain medications, be sure to consult a doctor or a pharmacist. Number 8. Fiber. Eating foods high in fiber, such as legumes, can cause bloating. When you decide to lose weight, you should not ignore the role of fiber. Consuming fiber makes you feel full sooner and less hungry, which means losing weight without enduring hunger. Of course, if you do not consume a lot of fiber daily, a sudden increase in fiber intake in the diet may cause bloating. Although this problem is perfectly normal, it may affect your social life. So, it is better to add fiber to your diet little by little. Number 7. Fruit juices. Most juices contain a lot of sugar. You may think that eating fruit juice is as good as eating whole fruit, but you should know that most market juices have sugar, and of course, the amount of fiber in fruit juice is much less than when you eat the whole fruit. Number 6. Protein. Excessive protein intake can damage your kidneys. Protein is a useful substance that is necessary for having strong bones and the weight loss process. Given the body's need for this amount of protein, should everyone use a protein powder supplement for their daily activities? Of course not. Most of us can get the protein we need daily by eating a healthy diet. Excessive consumption of protein powder may damage the kidneys. Number 5. Water. Excessive water intake may reduce the body's sodium level. 
We all need plenty of water. Most people confuse the feeling of thirst with hunger, of course, excessive water consumption may also lead to the risk of being too hydrated. Excessive water intake over a short period of time can upset the electrolyte balance and lower blood sodium levels, which is very dangerous. Number 4. Spinach. Excessive consumption of spinach may cause kidney stones in some people. Of course, keep in mind that most people consume less green leafy vegetables such as spinach in their diet. Despite being very low in calories, these vegetables are rich in a variety of vitamins and minerals such as magnesium, lutein, folic acid, and vitamin K. But people whose kidney stones are calcium oxalate, lutein oxalate, should not overeat spinach. Because this vegetable contains a lot of oxalates, which increases the risk of kidney stones. Number 3. Lemon Juice. Consumption of lemon juice may damage tooth enamel. Many health experts believe that consuming lemon juice in the morning is very useful. Lemon juice is very low in calories, and it is recommended that you add it to your diet. Lemon juice also helps to hydrate the body. Lemon is rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. Cell damage can be prevented, but excessive consumption of lemon juice can also damage tooth enamel. Experts suggest that if you are accustomed to consuming lemon juice, it is better to brush your teeth after each time you eat lemon juice to prevent severe damage to the enamel or use a straw to reduce the contact of lemon juice with your teeth. Number 2. Almond Milk. Replacing dairy milk with other kinds of milk such as almond milk, milk thistle, soy milk, and coconut milk is usually not recommended because they are processed and have a lot of added sugar. Very little plant material is usually used to prepare herbal milk, for example, a glass of almond milk contains only 4 almonds. Number 1. Coconut Oil. Because coconut oil is so high in saturated fat, coconut oil is solid at room temperature. Although coconut oil consumption is very common among some people, there is no evidence that it is healthier than other oils. It is better to replace coconut oil with olive, canola, and grape oil. It does not matter which oil you use, all oils are high in calories, and excessive consumption is not recommended at all. Keep in mind that moderation is always the key to success. Overeating is not healthy, even for super healthy foods. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.